Hi everyone, I hope you have a lovely day. I'm Iris Blue and I help people get fired up to their full potential. Welcome to the second, oh no, third episode of the Lockdown Diaries. Uh, I have made this series because as you all know, we are currently, the whole world is in lockdown because of the coronavirus. And I wanted to help people make the best out of this bad situation. So today we're going to talk about how to stay positive and motivated during difficult times. So motivation is a tricky thing and uh, I have been struggling with motivation on and off a big portion of my life. Because as many people of you know, I've been depressed periods of my life. So um, staying motivated is really hard. And uh, before actually the lockdown, I was at home alone a lot as well. And a big portion of not feeling motivated is not feeling like you're not moving on in your life, feeling like you're stuck. Positivity, however, is a mindset that I think is really important to feel a, to have a happy and fulfilled life. So today we're going to talk about both and I have a two-step method for you so you can actually find your motivation again, find your positivity again, even though times are quite hard right now. But before we get into the video, there's a few things I want to ask and tell you. First of all, I want to ask you, what do you think of my new background? Like, I have worked so hard the past week to make a new YouTube background or video background for you guys because I really, really hated how the old uh, videos looked. And uh, I used to record my videos in the separate room, but because it is now functioning as a nursery for my up and coming baby daughter, I had to improvise something else in my house that was easy to take down as well because we don't have an extra room anymore. So <laughs> I need to become quite creative uh, and I had needed to become quite creative with the lightning as well. So what do you think of the light? What do you think of the sound? What do you think of the background? What do you especially think of that painting? Not that painting, that's a, that's a plant. But that painting, I made it myself, so I'm quite proud of it. But please let me know what you think. Then the next thing I want to tell you about is about my corona counseling. Because of the situation right now, I feel everybody can use a little bit of help and everybody should get help if they want to and that is why i offer corona counseling for only 25 euros an hour i will take you to some steps take you to some ideas and help you to get the right mindset to make the best out of this situation so if you are interested in my corona counseling then please check it out on my website the link is down below so today we're gonna focus on the bad luck we all have encountered because of this lockdown. Of course, there's also something to say about motivation from a day-to-day -day basis. If you're interested in that, then please look at my social media because I have a lot of tips and tricks on my social media about how to stay motivated and also look at my other videos because I talk about motivation a lot. But today we're gonna focus on how to turn bad luck around. Uh, and why I think this is important is because I had some pretty bad luck as well because of this lockdown and I think a lot of people have. And for me, my um, the things that I've went through were so bad that I had a fallback in my depression. If you um, haven't heard about this and I really advise you to watch my first episode of the lockdown diaries because i talk all about my fallback in my depression and how i kind of got out of it like many of you know who've been following me for a while i was supposed to get married on the 28th of may and um pretty quickly in the lockdown we found out that that was not going to happen anymore also i was supposed to have a side job and it 
well, I can I think you all can imagine I don't have that right now. <laughs> so uh, having a child on the way already brings some anxieties. My honeymoon was cancelled. Uh, my bachelorette was cancelled. So um, there were a lot of things that really, that really hit me hard in the beginning of this lockdown and I had to find a way out of it and I think with the method that I created to help myself I can help you if you have something that is heavy on your heart if, if you have a problem because of this lockdown I want to help you get a good perspective on that problem and maybe fix it so let's get into the two steps the first thing you need to do is if you feel stuck negative or just bad is to really figure out what has been bothering you what is the problem at hand for me it was the disappointment of not getting married and the disappointment or the worries about money because i didn't have my side job anymore well this seems kind of logical to actually to first figure out what the problem is before you can solve it but a lot of people actually don't take the time to really figure out what it is that makes them feel bad for example you can feel shitty or just nervous and you can blame it all on the fact that you're afraid of the corona itself but maybe that's not really the case and you're more afraid of the misfortune you will get because of it like for example financial instability first step is to find out what really really the problem is and zone it down then the second step and this is gonna sound like an adult <laughs> is to find the solution but i'm gonna help you with this because i know this is a hard thing i know that uh if you had a solution you wouldn't be in this mess right i am a firm believer that there are always more possibilities in the world than you can imagine there are always more possibilities and solutions than there are problems you just have to have the right mindset to find them and that mindset is the mindset of abundance and positivity so if you believe that there is a solution out there and you're positive about that and sure there might be some compromises but maybe the solution will even turn out better than you ever thought or better than the situation we're in before maybe so i'm gonna give you an example of myself and how i fixed the problem of being disappointed about my marriage and the problem about being disappointed about my financial situation so i hope that you can find creative ways and solutions to your problems because i believe there are a lot of problems right now with a lot of people where the solution might eventually even lead to a better option than the option were the options were before uh, of course it's not with all the problems and uh, for people who have lost their business or are really in deep 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 shit right now um i really feel for you but even in the hardest times and believe me i've been to some hard times even in the hardest times there are specks of light so sit down and really see what your options are because i can guarantee you there are more options than you think for me personally i was supposed to get married in on the 28th of may and uh, i was really looking forward to it i'm pregnant and this way my my well now still fiance uh, was going to have all the rights to our child uh, i was going to have a beautiful pregnancy gown it was going to be in the spring and i was so much looking forward to it because if you've been following for a while things have been quite hard the last years um because of my father i'm not gonna go into get into that right now i promise you i'll make a video about it someday um but i was really hoping for a time that things would be happy and easy and that we could celebrate um life we should celebrate life because we didn't have the time to actually do that for a while so uh when i heard that my wedding was going to be delayed or 
cancelled I was really shocked and really disappointed at first and take the time to feel disappointment and for and shock at first because those emotions are valid and you do need some time to process things and get in the right mindset to take the next step of fixing the problem but this is what I did I made a two option list because I have no clue how the situation is going in the world right now and um, that made me really nervous so I made before I actually could psych myself out I made a sec second option option B and option B would be that I would get married to my beautiful amazing fiance on the 21st of December this year now I know there's some pessimists out there that say well you don't know if you're gonna get married then we might be still having this world crisis then and to them I can I can firmly say you have as, as much proof that things will still be horrible then as I have proof that things will be settled then there we know nothing <laughs> So <laughs> we know no one don't know nothing. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to I'm going to be that pessimistic. So if that's something that you really like to do, feel free to. But uh, that's that's just not my cup of tea at all. The second option was a winter wedding, and I wrote down all the positives that would come with a winter wedding that didn't come with the summer or the spring wedding. For example, yes, I would be pregnant in my spring wedding, which I, yeah, I liked it. I liked the idea. But in my winter wedding, I would have my own child as my bridesmaid. How adorable is that? Um, of course, the summer wedding would have beautiful flowers and stuff like that. But the winter wedding could be so awesome themed as well with campfires, with twinkle lights, with stars. So in the spring wedding, we would have a honeymoon to Spain and it would just be for three days because that was how much money we saved. <laughs> but in the winter wedding, we're saving now for a honeymoon to Scotland and we're going on a proper honeymoon for at least a week. <laughs> so uh, also, I can take pictures with my daughter for my wedding, which is so cute. So there were a lot of uh, benefits to the winter wedding as well. And also the date is very important to us. So I really, really liked the second option. And I can I, secretly, I think I liked the winter wedding option more, even though I, I do really want to be married. <laughs> but I do like the winter wedding option that really made it a lot more easy for me to be less disappointed disappointed also uh we thought of a parroting ceremony to do in june with only the grandparents and the guardians of our child to be uh, and we're going to do it around the 11th of june so we still have something to look forward to. it's a little bit closer to now a little bit closer a little bit closer in the future so we have something to look forward to uh, right now as well and we're going to do a maternity photo shoot so those things those options so those that package that comes with with the option b was so attractive and so much fun that even though when i heard that my wedding got cancelled in i wasn't that much disappointed uh, as I should have been. So in this example, I not only found found a solution for my problem, I found an even better option. So just sit down, give yourself the time to really think through all the options you have and talk to other people because maybe they come up with options that are even more awesome than the ones that you thought of. Just don't give up because I know things are really hard right now but believe me, there's always a silver lining. There are always specks of lights. And you may you may might be even surprised by how you end up feeling after this lockdown if you put in the work right now. If you want more examples to how you can think around the problems you have and find solutions, then please follow me on Instagram. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because there are more videos coming about how to make the best out of this lockdown. Um, to all of you, stay home, stay safe. My heart is with you. I really hope that you are healthy physically and mentally. Um, if you're interested in the Corona Consult, don't forget to check out my website. Again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. And in the meantime, don't forget that you have more potential than you realize. I can't, I can't, I can't.